Hey everyone, this is Gleb and welcome to the level 6 Flaky Cypress test exercise with solution. I'm running the same test 10 times. We're doing the same thing as before. We're visiting the page, filling out a form, and then we are checking that there is one record because we only added one student record. There should be one record and it should contain the expected text from the input fields. So let's run it and see if it works. I'm running all 10 tests and it seems to be passing, still passing. Okay, failed here and passing again. So it failed once out of 10 tests. Let's look at the failure. I'm gonna look at the dump snapshot when the error happens. Notice what happened right here. All of a sudden we have, instead of a single expected record, we have four records. We have Joe Doe, Jane Smith, Anna Black, and then instead of some name, we just have name. Okay, so this looks very different from a successful test, like right here. You see one record instead of four records. Now, where are these records are from? Uh, let's hover over command. So we visit the page, fine, input field, we click on it, we type something, right? And then notice right here when we typed, right? Before we have nothing, after we suddenly have three records. We didn't type them, where did they arrive? This is a very common pattern for applications that load previously saved data. The data could be local, or it could come from the server. When you visit the page, the application code kicks off loading the data. It might go to the server and fetch it. And it might take a while, right? But it might be very fast. So it seems like when we are typing the first field, that's when the application fetches the data and shows it. So in the successful tests, this load seems to be pretty slow and the test finishes before the rest of the data arrives. Let's look at the very last test. I'm gonna run it again, okay, running all the tests again. Some of the tests might fail, that's fine. I just wanna see the last test, and if I'm correct, the last test should always show the data loaded, even if it passes and finishes. Okay, the test passed, and now notice, our record that was there all of a sudden got replaced, right? We saved the record, the test passed, but then this is what we see. So it seems that there is a race condition between the application loading the data and the test, not waiting for it, and instead just typing into the input field and checking that a single record is there. Not only this replaces the single record or it might actually add to the record depending on the timing. Notice that in this case we lost the first letter because we typed some name, right? But the data was reset when the list has been loaded. It probably resets the input fields as well and it cleared the S character that we already typed and that's why only part of the first field remains. So what can we do about it? So one thing we might notice is that if we inspect the page, there might be some attribute that the application sets that tell us that it has finished loading. So let's look at the elements. If we look at this form, notice it's just a div inside the Cypress iframe. So this is while it doesn't show the list. And by this point, it does show the list. So if we look at the form, there is an attribute called loaded. So it is set when application finished loading the data. So all we need to do in our test to fix this is wait for that attribute to exist. So we can come right here and we can say get attribute loaded and we can be explicit, we can say true, okay? Or we can just check the presence. And we don't even have to do anything Sci get command has existence assertion built in. Save it and let's switch back. Okay, why didn't it pass? Oh, because remember it might take a while, right? Because we've seen tests that finished and the loaded was still not there. So we need to increase the timeout. And let's say 10 seconds, just to be sure. Okay, loaded, loaded. 
notice as soon as it displayed the list, we moved on. And now we have to modify the test, right? Because it no longer has just a single record. That's fine. Should have length greater, oh, greater or equal to one. Okay, so wait for the load, input the form, add the record, and confirm that there's at least one record and it contains a record we added. Okay, so remember, especially in the beginning, the application might be still loading the data. Your test probably has to wait for the data to finish loading before it adds its own data and checks the result.